The school to prison pipeline is becoming more obvious by the day. This story came out of a Houston area middle school where a 13 year old eighth grade girl dared to attempt to pay for her lunch with a $2 bill. Denise and Neil just wanted chicken nuggets at school one day last year, but she never got them. They sent me to the post office. The lunch lady thought Denicia's $2 bill was fake, so she called the cops. The cop, in his infinite wisdom, came and took the girl to the police office, told her that she was in very big trouble, called her grandmother, said they might charge her with a third degree felony for having a counterfeit $2 bill. Then he went about investigating the high crime of this. The alleged theft of $2 worth of chicken nuggets was enough to get the campus cop to travel to the convenience store that gave grandma the $2 bill, and then head to the bank where they finally cleared the mystery up. The bill was so old, 1953. the school's counterfeit pen didn't work. The cop is finally informed, oh yes, by the way, that's a real bill. That is considered real money. <laughs> Did they apologize for psychologically traumatizing an eighth grade 13 year old girl who tried to actually legally pay for her lunch with cash? No, they did give the $2 bill back. But why was the lunch lady's immediate reaction to this to suspect a 13 year old girl is sitting around at home with a printing press maniacally thinking up ways to forge $2 bills so that she can pull off the heist of the century, which is buying crappy chicken nuggets at a middle school cafeteria. Seriously, at a school, by the way, where 82% of the children get free or reduced lunch. I talked to a bank rep yesterday after reading this story because it made my head want to explode like in scanners. And she said they don't even do that to adults who bring in counterfeit money. If there's a bake sale or a garage sale or whatever, and someone comes in with a whole bunch of bills and they find a fake 20 in the lot, they'll confiscate it and obviously not deposit in your account. But they don't call the police to charge the person who brought it in with a crime because there's no evidence that an actual crime has been committed. The chain of custody has not been established on where that 20 came from. It could have came from 25 people ago. Who knows where that money came from? The bank will not even do this to adults, but these school districts are doing this to middle school and high school kids and probably even in elementary school. The thing about this story that's scary, besides the complete ignorance of this lunch lady who apparently is just calling the cops on kids for, it's a $2 for freaking chicken nuggets. I mean, what a horrible person she must be. Just what a horrible human being. Or the fact that you have a police officer who is investigating this crime in eighth grade girls paying for their lunch with legal cash. The scariest part about this is ABC 13 looked into this, into the school's records, and it turns out at these uh, three independent school districts in that area, just these three, they found 40 cases where the school has accused students of counter felony forgery and called the police on students for showing up to school and having a fake $10 bill. First of all, all the money in this country is fake. It's just print it out of thin air. It's backed by nothing. It is all monopoly money. So it's fake anyway. But on top of that, we're talking about school lunch. Okay. In these cases, what they do to these kids is they treat them as criminals while the investigation I'm doing derisive air quotes into this fake money investigation is going on. And they put these kids in alternative school, which is basically punishing them. But they also apparently did this at SciFair ISD at a middle school where a seventh grader is now facing two to 10 years in prison because he bought his lunch with what turned out to be a fake $10 bill. They put him in handcuffs, they put him in the police car. How would you, I mean, are we just all sitting around all day checking all the money in our wallet to see if it's real? Do we carry around those little pins and just check everything to see if it's real? This is a kid who has A's and B's, he's in seventh grade and he's facing up to 10 years in prison now for this, for something the bank won't even do to an adult. But they arrested him, they handcuffed him, put him in a police car, the whole bit. And now he's facing felony charges. So this is what schools are doing these days to kids, which is basically ensuring that you end up with a bunch of criminals. It's like sending your kids to public school in this country is the worst thing you could do for them. 
I didn't even know this was happening, but this is the kind of fake crimes that they're trying to charge little kids with to get them in this school to prison pipeline. I mean, is the school getting a kickback for every student they get arrested now? Are they getting something out of that? Is that is there a new thing that I'm not aware of? They're reaping a benefit from making sure that their students end up in prison? 